All of your teachers and school staff members have been trained in a program called ALICE, which stands for Alert, Lockdown, Inform, Counter, and Evacuate. The goal of the program is to give teachers and students many options to respond proactively to any life-threatening situation in the school building. As you learn more about the ALICE program, it is important that you pay close attention. The most important pieces of the ALICE acronym are ALERT and INFORM. If you see something that you think is a danger to anyone in the school building, tell a teacher immediately. It doesn't have to be your teacher, just tell someone. Some examples of things to alert a teacher to are weapons, fights, or suspicious activities anywhere on school properties. Your teachers can then use the PA system to inform the rest of the school of the safety concern. That means that you need to stop and listen every time you hear an announcement because it could be something urgent and important. Announcements will continue throughout the incident to keep everyone informed, so it is important that you listen to every announcement. Your teachers want to keep you safe, but your safety depends partly on following their directions. If a violent event does occur at school, the best defense is to evacuate the building if it is safe to do so. Evacuation may not always be possible though because of where the violent event is taking place. Again, listen to your teachers and follow directions. Unlike a fire drill, when you evacuate from a violent event, you will run out of the building following your teacher. If evacuating is not possible, the next best option is lockdown. This is not the old-fashioned lockdown you have done in the past. Instead, you will be fortifying your classroom using the shelter-in-place technique. This involves quickly building a barricade in front of the classroom door to prevent anyone from getting in. Barricades don't have to be complex, but they should cover any windows so that nobody can see into the classroom. A good barricade can be constructed in less than a minute and will prevent anyone from opening the door. Your teachers have practiced this and are very good at barricading, so listen carefully to what they tell you to do. It is very important that you do not open the door for anyone, no matter what. Once you have sheltered in place, you still need to be ready to defend yourself, just in case an intruder makes it into your classroom. This is called countering the attacker. After your barricade is built, stay away from the door and pick up something that can be used to defend yourself. If someone makes it into the room, defend yourself by throwing objects at them. Use things like textbooks, shoes, or staplers. Your classrooms have plenty of useful objects. Do not stand still while you do this. Move around the room and make noise. Most of the time, attackers will retreat if they are met with resistance. Sometimes, however, an attacker may get too close for comfort. When this happens, do anything you have to do to bring that person to the ground. If there is a weapon, avoid it. It is much easier to bring someone down as a team, so work together. Once you get the attacker on the ground, hold him or her down forcefully by placing one student on each arm and leg. Hold them there until police arrive. If a weapon is present, do not touch it. Your teacher will know what to do with it to prevent any injuries from occurring. Now that you know about the ALICE program, let's review. ALICE stands for Alert, Lockdown, Inform, Counter, and Evacuate. Here are the main points. Be sure to alert a teacher if you see or hear anything dangerous or suspicious. Listen to all announcements because they will inform you about situations in the school. Listen to your teachers and follow all of their directions as quickly as you can. Evacuation is the best defense. If you can safely evacuate, run to the rally point following your teacher. Your parents can pick you up there later in the day. If you can't evacuate, lock down by building a barricade and being ready to defend yourself. If an attacker makes it into your classroom, counter them by moving around, throwing objects, 
at them and bringing them to the ground. Work together and don't touch any weapons.